I had a request quite a long time ago to tell something about my construction techniques. And perhaps this is a good moment to show how I'm working further on the 5 up to 8 watt audio amp. This is the whole circuit from the audio amp. I've tested the preamp very thoroughly and I've also uh, shown this circuit on YouTube. And here is the final circuit from that preamp. It's already on YouTube, so don't worry. I've tested it with three potentiometers at the input, 100k, 50k and 10k, and um, they all work properly, but 100k is the best choice when you want to play music on a very low audio level. I've also added here a 27 ohms resistor, but you can shortcut it. That makes that the 10k pot meter for the, for the loudness works somewhat smoother. Anyway, 27k here, 10k here. That was also a fault in my earlier published video. Anyway, it's all about the construction techniques here. Uh, when you make such an amplifier, uh, the transformer strays quite a big field around it. And that's electromagnetic or 50 Hz or 60 Hz. So I move the transformer far away from the very sensitive input and that's going to be here. Um, I want to mount here two kinch plugs. It's all from salvage material, but I mount it here. And here we get uh, two inputs, one to the left and one to the right amplifier. This is a completely wooden box. <coughs> so, very simple to make. I always cover the wood with this glue to make it moisture unsensitive. I glue the wooden parts with this type of glue, also to make it moisture unsensitive. And this is the, the underside, and you can see that it's completely wood. So you can ask, where is the shielding from such an important amplifier? Or important? Well, I mount the amplifier here inside the box. And it is already shielded on the back side. So it needs no further shielding to make it stable, prevent it from oscillations. Here at the front I'm going to saw a part out and then uh, mount with screws a piece of tin plate and on that tin plate I mount all the different potentiometers. It's in my earlier video. So here the sensitive part and here the power supply. I think I'm going to use this transformer. When you mount such a transformer in an amplifier, um, be aware that the direction is important. Could be that when you mount it this way you hear hum in your amplifier, but when you mount it this way, you don't hear hum. So, make a situation in which you can turn the transformer, and I've also made an oscilloscope circuit in the past, and I had to mount the transformer, for instance, in this way, to keep the hum completely out of the amplifier. It all has to do with the straying from electromagnetic from the electromagnetic field. The field is at its lowest here, on this side from the transformer. And here there is a strong straying field. So this is the best direction to put it. I also gonna uh, make some ventilation. Of course, this is the, the cooling plate, the heat sink, both heat sinks here. Here I'm gonna mount on this side um, a more or less open 
uh, situation. And here also I leave this part open so that um, the cooling air can go into the amp and to the other side. So that's more or less all to tell. Perhaps I'm going to mount the whole um, supply unit, power supply unit on a separate piece of wood. Perhaps when there's hum I'm going to use here a shielding made from um, so this this is what I use cola cans or beer cans I take them apart and use this for instance as a shielding here to prevent the straying from the transformer but on such a low frequency 50 Hertz of, or 60 Hertz this does not have much effect but this does, does have an effect when you mount it here. This will be uh, the mirrored side of my amplifier with all the potentiometers for low and high etc. And when I hear hum, say that it's mounted on this side and I hear hum, I cover the uh, preamp with this template and connect that template to the one and only earth point in the amplifier. So that will help surely. Um, I keep the impedance from these amplifiers always very low and um, that means at the input here there is a CD player, but its impedance is low, it's say approximately 4000 ohms. And when you keep the impedance low, um, there's less risk of hum that's introduced, for instance, by the transformer. I've used here 100k, that's a quite high impedance. So it could be that I need uh, here from the input to the input from the end amplifier and the preamp, and the preamp is here, could be that I use a shielded wire. Of course the one earth uh, principle must be uh, taken in account, that's in much of my videos. So perhaps uh, this will help to um, develop an audio amp it's all very, very simple technology, low tech, and um, that's also the aim of what I'm doing. I'm publishing low tech circuits that work very properly. Anyway, I wish you success when you want to make, for instance, such an amplifier.